Nature knows no boundaries in her ingenuity and the diversity of living things on the planet. Among the various types of animals, there are the brightest, attractive, graceful, fluffy, or just funny species that stand out from the rest. Dangerous or harmless, miniature or huge, they are all perfect creations of evolution. Today we will look at animals that are the rarest and most beautiful representatives of their species. One of the most beautiful butterflies in the world is the Madagascar Comet. The butterfly got its name due to the long red outgrowths on the hind wings, which resemble the bright tail of a flying celestial body. Babushka is endemic and can only be found in Madagascar. This is one of the largest butterflies in the world, their wingspan is usually 160 to 200 millimeters. In this insect, it spends almost its entire life in the caterpillar stage, usually about two months, after which it pupates and turns into a beautiful butterfly. Unfortunately, in adulthood, these wonderful creatures spend very little time. Comets flutter in the jungle for only four or five days during which they do not eat anything, since they are deprived of the oral apparatus. The only purpose of their brief existence is to leave offspring in the form of almost 150 eggs. Satinia Comet, like some other unique inhabitants of Madagascar, is the symbol of the island. These insects are depicted on local banknotes Malagasy Ariari. The small red panda, or cat bear, is another representative of rare and incredibly beautiful species of animals. It is a mammal of the panda family, a carnivorous order, which, however, feeds mainly on vegetation. Written mentions of this animal first appeared in the 13th century in China, but Europeans only learned about it in the 19th century. It was officially discovered in 1821 by the English general and naturalist Thomas Hardwick, who was collecting material on the territory of the English colonies. Hardwick suggested calling this animal the word yo, which is one of its Chinese names, based on the imitation of the sounds made by the animal. However, Hardwick was delayed in returning to England with his materials, and the French naturalist Frederick Cuvier managed to name the new animal Shining Cat. Despite the indignation of the English community, according to the rule adopted by the naturalists themselves, the scientific name given to the animal once could no longer be changed. On the ground, pandas move slowly and awkwardly, but they climb trees perfectly, but nevertheless feed mainly on the ground. Although the red panda is a representative of the order of carnivores, 95% of its diet consists of young leaves and bamboo shoots. The remaining 5% are various fruits, berries, mushrooms, and even small rodents. Like the giant panda, the red panda cannot digest cellulose, so it eats bamboo more readily than leaves. Red panda has a peaceful character and easily takes root in captivity. Their life expectancy is on average 8 to 10 years. Although the habitat of the small panda occupies a very large territory, and has few natural enemies, this species is included in the lists of the International Red Book with the status of endangered. The species was classified as endangered, with only about 3,000 individuals remaining. The Mandarin duck is one of the most beautiful ducks in the world. She can be safely called a fashion model in the world of ducks. She lives in the countries of East Asia and Eastern Russia. In the north of its range, the Mandarin duck is a migratory bird, Adults and juveniles usually leave the territory of Russia by the end of September and winters in China and Japan. Unique appearance and amazing loyalty to a partner made the bird a symbol of family happiness in China. She is often depicted in paintings decorating wedding salons and sometimes even presented as a gift on the day of the wedding. Representatives of this breed settle near mountain rivers. They like deciduous or mixed forests. They build their nests in calm and quiet places where people are not. The Mandarin duck swims well, while sitting high on the water, with a slightly raised tail. Unlike most ducks, the Mandarin duck can often be seen sitting on tree branches, or on coastal rocks. Hunting for Mandarin duck is prohibited, it is included in the Red Book of Russia as a rare species. This duck is bred in parks as an ornamental bird. Nests are usually arranged in hollows at different heights. Moreover, birds rarely nest in the same hollow for two years in a row. The male stays close to the female until she sits on the clutch, after which he flies off to molt. And by the way, she will hardly return, but in China they believe that Mandarin duck-like swans live their whole lives together. 
Even if this is not the case, as zoologists assure, Mandarin dwellers very rarely spend their lives in pairs, but in China they have long been considered very faithful to each other. The Chinese want to believe in this touching legend. Interestingly, the plumage of females differs in color from that of males. The latter are especially beautiful. The explanation is very simple. Males must stand out in order to attract the attention of females. The snow leopard, Urbis, a mysterious and enigmatic animal, is still one of the least studied feline species in the world. Very little is known about the biology and ecology of this rare predator, and its abundance within the modern range is determined very conditionally. For many Asian peoples, this beast is a symbol of strength, nobility and power. Asian folklore is full of stories and legends about this elusive predator. No wonder he is considered the most secretive beast on the planet. Few people manage to see the snow leopard in the wild. The snow leopard is included in the red list of the International Union for Conservation of Nature and has the status of a rare or endangered species in all 12 countries where it lives, Russia, Mongolia, China, Kazakhstan, Afghanistan, India, Kyrgyzstan, Nepal, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Bhutan. In Russia, the snow leopard lives at the northern limit of its modern range and forms only a few stable groups in optimal habitats in the mountains of the Altai Sayan ecoregion. The snow leopard population in Russia is only 1 to 2 percent of the world population of the species. According to experts from the Russian part of the Altai Sayan ecoregion, there are about 70 to 90 snow leopards, while there are no more than 4,000 rare predators on the planet. The snow leopard has a very long tail. Together, the total length of the animal reaches 230 centimeters. These cats are incredibly jumpy. While hunting, they are able to jump 6 meters in length and 3 meters in height. Snow leopards live high in the mountains. There are recorded cases of snow leopard detection at an altitude of 6,000 meters. The snow leopard roams constantly. Its territory can reach 1,000 square kilometers. Thanks to its wide paws, the snow leopard is able to move through the snow without falling into it. The lifespan of these animals is 20 to 25 years, which is longer than that of most other large cats. Apparently, clean mountain air affects. The snow leopard is a lonely cat. They pair up only for a very short mating season. Urbis, like most other cats, is nocturnal. However, if necessary, he can be active in the daytime. Although most often during the day he sleeps in his den, usually in small caves. There are many miracles in New Guinea, but none of them fascinated scientists as much as the birds of paradise, which naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace called back in the 19th century the most extraordinary and most beautiful of the feathered inhabitants of the earth. Additions to bright colors, birds have various decorations, garlands of satin flags hanging from their heads, iridescent crescent-shaped breastplates, fancy tufts, earrings, ribbons, trains, lace skirts. All these are details of the outfits in which males of different species of birds of paradise are dressed. Europeans first learned about these birds after Magellan's travels in the 16th century, when many legends appeared associated with these birds. The most incredible ones said that the paws of these birds are not able to grab onto branches, and therefore these birds spend their whole life in flight. When asked how, then, these birds lay eggs, a no less fantastic assumption appeared, supposedly the female lays a single egg in the depression on the back of the male, which constantly flies above the clouds. In the same place, in the sky, a chick hatches. The Europeans managed to dispel all these myths only in the 19th century, when researchers reached New Guinea and studied the species in its natural habitat. So the world became aware that the birds of paradise are a family of birds that belong to the order of passerines. There are 45 species in total, grouped into 13 genera. 38 species are found only in New Guinea and small adjacent islands. In the northeast of Australia, four species are distributed, two more are endemic to the Moluccas. Despite lengthy research, until recently, no one managed to see all the birds of paradise, from time to time more and more outlandish representatives were discovered, fascinating with their appearance. In 2003, Cornell University ornithologist Edwin Scholes, along with Tim Lohman, a biologist and photographer, began planning a major expedition of their lives, they decided to see, photograph, and describe all kinds of birds of paradise. It took eight years and 18 expeditions. Although both researchers had already been to the tropics several times before, they could not imagine what awaited them. They endured long hikes along flooded paths, 
twice drifted into the sea when outboard motors failed, and for the sake of the first photographs of the black-throated Astropea, scientists spent three months in hiding watching and waiting for this bird. As Wallace wrote after that, it seems that nature has taken every precaution, so that its most secret treasures are not devalued by the fact that they can be too easily obtained. The evolution of birds of paradise proceeds according to the principle of external effects, the brighter and more unusual the male, the more females pay attention to him. Females choose partners with the most striking, and therefore dominant, traits, thus increasing the likelihood of passing on the corresponding genes to the next generation. There are almost no predators in New Guinea, which is why the gorgeous birds have developed eye-catching ornaments to that extent. Males of every species have a fascinating dance for females. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.